Hello again. Now we know about rotational motion and the science of spinning. It's time to apply our knowledge to rolling things, things that roll. Here I have three solid objects, a sphere, a flat disc, and a cylinder with a hole through it. In a real experiment you might use a bowling ball and some wheels, but for this I'm using ideal shapes in an ideal situation. Suppose all these things have the same mass and the same radius of rotation. However, they don't have the same rotational inertia. That means they respond differently to a torque causing an angular acceleration. Different shapes create different mass distributions, even if the objects have the same amount of mass. That's why they have different inertia. The rotational kinetic energy of a body is proportional to this inertia, and more rotational energy means it rolls faster. I should tell you now that of these three shapes, the hollow cylinder has the highest rotational inertia. Now a question, which shape will win in a straight downhill race? Let's do this by starting them at the same height above ground. We release them from rest on a slope and see which one gets to the bottom first. Because all our objects start at the same height and have the same mass, they also have the same gravitational potential energy. So the only difference is rotational inertia. Oh, and color, but that has no effect in a race. Just one more thing before we start. We're going to assume that the slope is frictionless. So it's made of ice or something very smooth. So there's no friction acting on the system to take heat energy away. Who will win? Place your bets now. Three, two, one, ta-da! We have a winner, and it's the sphere. A disc comes in second, and the hollow cylinder is left eating their dust. So, that was the race. But why did the sphere win? Well, of the three shapes, the sphere actually has the lowest rotational inertia. That means it gains the least rotational kinetic energy, because they are proportional. But, rotational is not the only type of kinetic energy. If we look at each shape in turn, we find that the hollow cylinder with the highest inertia gained a lot of rotational kinetic energy, but no linear kinetic energy. Now, linear kinetic energy is what you learned about in previous years. It's the energy associated with moving in a straight line. And in order to get down the hill fastest, you have to move in a straight line the fastest. Now, I said before that the slope is frictionless, and that's actually very important, because friction removes mechanical energy from a system. As it is, what happened is, at the top here you see this equation, gravitational potential energy goes to rotational kinetic energy plus linear kinetic energy. So that's conservation of energy. That original potential energy we gave the objects is converted into two types of kinetic energy. But the sphere with the lowest rotational inertia gained the least rotational kinetic energy but the most linear kinetic energy because the two add together to give its potential energy at the start. Now linear kinetic energy is proportional to linear speed as I said which means that the sphere actually went in a straight line the fastest. The situation we've just looked at is quite typical of an exam style question. So you might get something where you have to calculate the amount of energy gained by each object in a race, or you might just have to explain why, say, a sphere gets to the bottom before a hollow disk. Now the key concept here is conservation of energy. The potential energy that was gained by the objects was converted to two types of kinetic energy. The ratio of those types determines which object wins the race. And that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching.